Electronics. Today's video we are going to prepare for Space Application Center or SAC uh, exam for scientist and also technical assistant. That is we are going to uh, discuss the common topic questions uh, for the scientist and technical assistant exam preparation together in this video. Okay, So today's video I have included the questions from the electromagnetic theory especially from transmission lines these questions uh, from the area of transmission lines have included in this video so this will be useful if you are preparing for uh, sac that is space application center scientist and uh, also uh, if you are preparing for the technical assistant because both for both these uh, posts the uh, the electromagnetic theory or emt is a common subject so i have included the previous year questions of isro examination itself so if you are preparing for a uh, sac scientist or sac technical assistant electronics this video will be useful for you. Okay, the first question is the characteristic impedance of a lossless transmission line is given by dash. I have not included the options of these type of questions. Okay, we'll be directly write the we'll be directly writing the characteristic impedance. The characteristic impedance is at zero. It is represented using is at zero is equal to the general equation is R plus J omega L by g plus j omega c is the equation this is the equation for a general transmission line now what is the case for a lossless transmission line what is the meaning of uh, the, uh, saying that the line is lossless lossless means the line is not having any resistance that is line resistance and also there is no dielectric loss so you can say the resistance is equal to zero and the dielectric loss is equal to zero so these if these two conditions are satisfied we can say that the line is a lossless line okay so this is the criteria or condition for a lossless transmission line now uh, let us see what are the various terms given in the characteristic impedance equation so is at zero is equal to square root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c R, what is R? R is the line resistance. Then J omega is angular frequency. L is the inductance. G is the dielectric conductance. Okay. This is not simply conductance. It is dielectric conductance. Plus J omega C is the capacitance. So these are the various parameters of the line. Transmission line. And if the line is lossless means. The value of resistance R is equal to 0. And the dielectric conductance G is equal to 0. Since there is no dielectric loss and since there is no resistance loss or resistance, you can say R is equal to 0 and G is equal to 0 for a lossless transmission line. So in this equation, we can make the changes as R and G, if it is equal to 0, we can write it as J omega L by J omega C, right? So you can write simply by removing j omega and j omega from numerator and denominator. Directly you can write it as square root of L by C will be the characteristic impedance for a lossless transmission line. So this is the equation contributing the characteristic impedance of a lossless transmission line and the impedance is contributed by the inductance and the capacitance. Okay, so z0 is equal to square root of L by C is the answer. Moving on to the next question. The lossless line of 50 ohm is terminated in a load of 100 ohm resistance. The VSWR is dash. Okay, so this is a question connecting to the VSWR of a transmission line. And what are the parameters given? Let us see. Okay, so the question deals with two type of impedances. The lossless line of 50 ohm is terminated in a load of 100 ohm. So the load impedance is at L is equal to 100 ohm. Since it is given that is terminated in a load of 100 ohm means the load impedance is 100. Now it is being given that the lossless line of 50 ohm means the line the uh, the characteristic impedance of the transmission line is 50 ohm. Okay, now I'll read out the question once again. The lossless line of 50 ohm is terminated in a load of 100 ohm. So the load impedance is 100. The characteristic impedance of the line is 50 ohm. Now we need to find the VSWR. 
So before finding the VSWR, let us try to find what is the reflection coefficient. Okay. Reflection coefficient is given by tau is equal to EZL minus EZ0 by EZL plus EZ0. Where EZL is the load impedance of the transmission line, EZ0 is the characteristic impedance. This is the reflection coefficient. Now why we are finding the reflection coefficient, I will tell later. Because the reflection coefficient, uh, that is by finding reflection coefficient, we can directly find VSWR. Okay, there is a relationship. So, uh, I explained about this relationship in a lot of previous videos. Anyway, if you are seeing the videos for, for the first time, just know that there is a relation between VSWR and reflection coefficient. So, this is the relation or this is the equation for finding the reflection coefficient of this particular transmission line, which is having a characteristic impedance of 50 ohm and load impedance of 100 ohm. So, directly you can substitute and find 100 minus 50 by 100 plus 50. So, what will be the value? It will be 50 by 150 or you can write it as 1 by 3. This is the reflection coefficient value. So, I have obtained the value of reflection coefficient. I will write it here. Tau is equal to 1 by 3. Now, if you look at the VSWR in the options, the options are 1 is to 2, 2 is to 1, 4 is to 1 and 1 is to 4. So, these uh, VSWR is not just given as an answer, it is given as a ratio. So, you need to find what is the ratio uh, dealing with or connecting to the VSWR of this particular transmission line. So, you need to find it as a ratio. So, for that, I am going to write the equation to find VSWR. VSWR, in terms of the reflection coefficient, you can write it as tau plus 1 by tau minus 1. Okay. So, I am going to substitute it. Sorry, it is 1 plus tau by 1 minus tau. 1 plus tau by 1 minus tau. Okay. So, this is the equation. VSWR is equal to 1 plus tau tau which is tau is the reflection coefficient by 1 minus tau directly substitute 1 by 3 1 plus 1 by 3 by 1 minus 1 by 3 and if you solve it you will get it as 3 plus 1 that is 4 by 3 by 3 minus 1 is 2 by 3 that is you can uh, take the 3 or cancel the 3 it will be equal to 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 by 1 Okay, this will be the value of VSWR obtaining if you substitute the value of reflection coefficient in this equation. So, this is 2 by 1 or you can write it as 2 is to 1. So, the ratio of VSWR obtaining is 2 is to 1 is the ratio. Okay, the correct answer is option B which is 2 is to 1 is the VSWR ratio of this particular transmission line. Now, while answering this question, you need to study two equations that are, I will write the equations once again, okay, VSWR is equal to 1 plus tau by 1 minus tau, sometimes it will be also written as rho, okay, just know that this is the reflection coefficient and you can find the value of a reflection coefficient tau is equal to EZL minus EZ0 by EZL plus EZ0, where EZL is the load impedance and EZ0 is the characteristic impedance of the transmission line. Okay, so these are the two important equations you should study while solving this question. This type of VSWR and reflection coefficient connected a lot of questions are coming in both technical assistant uh, question papers and also scientist question papers. In scientists, there will be a little bit higher in questions, but there can be generally from this area. If the short circuit and open circuit impedance of a line are 5 and 20 ohm, that is 5 ohm and 20 ohm, what is the characteristic impedance? This is a very simple question. Characteristic impedance is at 0 if the open circuit and short circuit impedance are being given, is given by the relation is at 0 characteristic impedance is equal to is at open circuit into square root of is at open circuit into is at short circuit. Okay. Directly substitute the values of open circuit and short circuit impedances in this equation and you can find it as 20 into 5 that is square root of 100 which is 10 ohm will be the 
characteristic impedance of this particular transmission line. So here, if the short circuit and the open circuit impedances of the line is being given, characteristic impedance will be square root of open circuit into short circuit. Okay, directly 10 ohm will be the answer. So these questions are not actually random questions. These are actually ISRO scientist questions. Uh, but you can also expect these type of questions in technical assessment because these are not very high end questions. But uh, uh, it is a mixer type that is it follows an intermediate level. So if you are preparing for any post like scientist or technical assistant, you can uh, follow these videos. It will be useful for you. I am following all the common, uh, I am taking classes or videos on the common subjects. Okay. Anyway, the answer for this question is 10 O. Next, moving on to the next question. We will remove this. In a transmission line terminated with a load equal to the characteristic impedance, reflection coefficient is dash. So, this is the equation that is for answering this question. You need the equation which we have discussed earlier. That is the equation for finding reflection coefficient. Tau is equal to Zl minus Z0 by Zl plus Z0. Now, the question is, in the transmission line terminated with a load equal to the characteristic impedance, that is here, Zl is equal to Z0. Now, what will be the reflection coefficient? Very simple. Here, Zl minus Zl you can write by Zl plus Zl because both the values are same. So, you will be getting Zl minus Zl is 0 by 2 Zl. The value will be equal to 0. Okay. So, the reflection coefficient is 0 if the characteristic impedance is equal to the load impedance. So generally this is one thing you should also know as a theory. If the characteristic impedance of the line is equal to the load, reflection coefficient will be equal to 0. Okay. So the options can be 0, infinity or any values. You have to choose 0 will be the value of reflection coefficient. Next question is this. For a line of characteristic impedance Z0 and terminate with a load of Zr such that Zr is greater than this, load impedance is greater than the characteristic impedance, BSWR is dash. So, first we will find what is the reflection coefficient. Tau is equal to Zl is Zr here. Okay, Zr minus Z0. That is the load impedance is Zr. Just uh, replacing Zl is equal to Zr. Zr plus Z0 will be the reflection coefficient. And now we can uh, substitute this reflection coefficient in the VSWR equation. So here we need to find the value of VSWR in terms of this Zr and Z0. That is the question. So 1 plus Zr minus Z0 by Zr plus Z0 by 1 minus Zr minus Z0 by Zr plus Z0. I have just substituted tau as Zr minus Z0 by Zr plus Z0. Very simple. And now simplify this and find the value of VSWR. I'm going to cross multiply these terms and uh, simplify it. Zr plus Z0 that is VSWR is equal to plus Zr minus Z0 by Zr plus Z0. The denominator will be Zr plus Z0 minus Zr, the minus taken inside will be plus Z0 by Zr plus Z0. So this will be, this is just simplification of the uh, VSWR equation where we have substituted the reflection coefficient tau as Zr minus Z0 by Zr plus Z0. Very simple. Simplification you have to do. We can remove this common denominator. Here it will be, what will be the simplified version? You can remove this Z0 and from the denominator you can remove this Zr, right? So you can, uh, you will be getting in the numerator 2 Zr will be present and in the denominator 2 Z0 will be present. Again you can remove this 2 and the answer obtaining for reflection coefficient is Zr by Z0. So, this is the value of reflection coefficient obtaining here. What is Zr? Zr is the load impedance. Z0 is the characteristic impedance of this transmission line. So, if you want to find VSWR in terms of the 
impedance values earlier we were finding directly from the reflection coefficient right in terms of impedance value if you want to find vswr it will be given like this vswr is equal to the load impedance by the characteristic impedance of the transmission line this is the equation the question is this what is the characteristic impedance of a coaxial transmission line having inner conductor radius of 1 mm and outer conductor radius of 2 mm the dielectric constant uh, of 4 that is the value of dielectric constant is 4 so this is the equation please note this down this is the equation to find the characteristic impedance of a coaxial transmission line is it zero again we are denoting using is it zero is equal to 138 by square root of k where k is the dielectric constant here it is 4 log 2 r1 by r2 where r1 is the value of outer conductor radius which is 2 mm and r uh, r1 is outer conductor r2 is the uh, inner conductor radius which is 1 mm so directly you can substitute and find 138 by square root of 4 log 2 uh, 2 mm and 1 mm so we can write it as 2 by 1 The answer obtaining is twenty point seven seven ohm is the value of the characteristic impedance obtained. So please note this down. This is the equation to find the characteristic impedance of a coaxial transmission line. Okay, moving on to the next question. Next question: When VSWR is three, reflection coefficient is dash. So here, this question is actually asking the reverse of the earlier question. Here V S W R value is given. Reflection coefficient we need to find. So V S W R the relation we know one plus tau by one minus tau. From this also, if you want to find, you can uh, find. But uh, directly the simplified version you have to study to answer the questions faster. Reflection coefficient is V S W R minus one by V S W R plus one. This is the relation. Please note down these two equations. If you want to find V S W R from the reflection coefficient, the equation is one plus tau by one minus tau, where tau is a reflection coefficient. Where uh, and if you want to find the reflection coefficient, uh, this is actually simplified from this equation. The relation is V S W R minus one by V S W R plus one. So substitute the value as three here. We need to find what is reflection coefficient. So It is three minus one by three plus one. That is two by four or one by two. The value is point five. Is the value of reflection coefficient for this question? Okay. So these type of reflection coefficient, characteristic impedance, and uh, uh, the VSWR type of a lot of questions you can find in this question papers of technical assistant as well as ISRO any location scientist. Mostly all the ISRO location questions are following almost similar standards. especially in case of uh, vssc they are a little bit tougher as compared to the other locations uh, as far as i have seen uh, that is that much of questions i have seen as much of questions i have seen i felt like that but all the other locations are following almost same standard the difficulty level i'm talking okay so these type of questions you can expect in both this post question papers technical assistant also and also scientist and i have not seen any even a single question paper without asking this vswr type of questions okay so i really hope that this video was useful for your preparation if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share these videos with maximum of friends who is preparing either for scientist or for technical assistant post and if you uh, really found these videos useful please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching